Creative Fabrica is releasing a whole suite of design tools. They currently have Creative Fabrica Studio, which is kind of similar to Canva. They also have CF Spark Vectorizer, where you can take a PNG or a JPEG and turn it and vectorize it into an SVG. And they have a whole bunch of other tools coming soon. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is just give you an overview of these both tools just here. Now, I just quickly want to say that Creative Fabrica are currently having their Black Friday sale, where you can get a whole year's subscription for £47. I'm guessing if this is dollars, it will be around $47 as well which works out at £3.99 per month, which is pretty insane. Now, having your All Access subscription also gets you access to the studio and all of the features. Now, I have a couple of comments here from Creative Fabrica's YouTube channel, which I quickly want to cover. So this one says, this also needs a section that says what comes with the free version and what comes with the paid version. So with Studio, there is a free version and the paid version. And remember, the paid version comes with all access. So they put all content that requires an all access subscription is marked with GoPro. Now, if you have a membership to Creative Fabrica, is there also a fee for the Studio? And they put Studio is free to use. And if you have an all access subscription, you have unlimited access to Studio. Now, the last one is how much does it cost? And that is CF Studio is free to use. However, if you want access to all of the premium content and features, you do need that all access subscription. So if you do want to come and check this out or grab the yearly all access for just $3.99 per month, then there will be a link down in the description. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm going to cover the vectorizer and also the studio. Now, first of all, we're going to need an image to vector. So let's come over here to my mid journey. Let's go ahead and download this set of clip art just here. So we're going to download. We're also going to quickly go over to clip drop, take this, plug it in there and just quickly remove the background. And now that that's done, we can download and we can come over to studio. Now, on the theme of clip art, I quickly want to note that our Black Friday sale is currently running, and you have until Wednesday, the 29th of November at 9 pm GMT. Now, our normal course, the LCB Vault, is £24.99. Our, our ultimate colouring page prompt generator is $9.99, but I bring this up because I have my newer course just here, which is called Clip Art Creation Mastery which is all about clip art, is currently only $24.99. Now, if you want to check this out as well, there will be a link down below. So let's click onto this vectorizer so we can take a look. You can upload any raster image, such as a PNG, JPEG, and convert it into a vectorized image that you can download as an SVG. So if we go ahead and take that image, that set of clip art, plop it in here, then it's going to do its thing and turn it into a vector. Now, one thing to note so far is that this vectorizer isn't as good as vectorizer.ai. Now, I'm hoping that within the next few weeks, over the months and so on, this vectorizer does get better because this isn't quite up to scratch as of yet. It's a cool idea, cool concept. I really love this. I really like that Creative Fabrica is bringing out all of these design tools. But as you'll see in a second, this isn't quite up there yet. So right here, we have a few different options. We can do single view. We have the split screen. We can zoom in and out and a couple of options just here. Then if we want to download, we can click here or download over here as well. But if we look here, the original image actually looks better than the vectorized. And if we scroll in, we can see it's not perfect lines. Whereas if you were to run this through vectorizer.a, this would come out seamlessly. So, so far, 
this vectorizer isn't actually that great. Now let's just do that. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can take a look. Now again, I am hoping that as the weeks and months go by, this is going to get better because there is something pretty cool that you can actually do. Now, right down here in the right hand side, it says add to studio. So once you've actually vectorized your image, you can click add to studio, and then it's going to add it to your design studio. So it says here, vector added to studio uploads. We have placed the vectorized image in your upload folder inside studio. This means that for each design, you have access to your vectorized images. So if we click go to studio, this is what it's going to look like. Then if you want to create a new design, you can click just here. You can choose the preference that you want. They have print, craft products, POD, social media, online digital, and so many more. You can change the dimensions over here as well. You can change from pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters as well, and you can choose the DPI. So for this example, let's do a 300 DPI. We can go to create new design, and now it's opened it in the studio designer. Now, I really like this designer as well, just because how easy it is to use. But again, this isn't quite up there yet with other designers. Now, we've just moved our vectorized image into here. So to find that, you want to come down to uploads over here. You're going to have this folder called vectorizer, if we click on there, this is where we now have our image, and then we can click on there, put it onto the screen, and design how we please. Now, we can even crop this as well, as you can see. Now, again, like I said, this isn't quite up there yet with other designers, but I'm really hoping that as the weeks go by, that it is going to get better. Now, let me quickly go over all of the features in here. So, up the top, this is where we can name our file. Right here, we can change the dimensions of the canvas as well. And up here, this is where we can flip between vectorizer and studio. Now, if we click on this icon, we can open recent, we can import files, we can save, make a copy, download, view my projects, browse apps, take a look at the licensing, and there's help as well. Over here, we have a share option. So if we click on there, we can export or download our files. We have the option to download as a PNG, JPEG and PDF. We can also zoom in just here and zoom out, zoom to fit and zoom to 100%. We also have the option to flip between dark mode or not. And if we click here, it's going to put it to full screen. Now over here, in this bar menu, we have Spark AI, which is their text to image generator. We can click here and randomize prompts. We can write in our own prompt as well, just here. Then they also have graphics with lots of different graphics already in there. Now, if we click on one of these, it's obviously going to put it onto the page like that. Then we have the text option. So we can add a text field, we can add a heading, subheading or body. We have a few different options that we can choose from as well. If we click on these, it's going to put it on the page. Then we can move it around. We can change from paragraph to heading, subheading and body. We can change the font as well. And as we can see, they actually have a lot of fonts. I believe these are just your standard fonts that you usually find within design tools. We can also change the font height just there, like so. We can change the color to whatever color that we want. We can also bold just here, italic, underscore, and a few other options. We can also lock the design there as well. Now we can take a look at elements. They have all your standard elements like lines, basic shapes, complex shapes, and 3D shapes as well. You have the option with photos just here to choose from lots of different types. Same with backgrounds just here and patterns as well. On all of these, they also have the search bar. So if you're looking for something specific, you can type it in there. Then they also have templates. So if we take a look at this, they have lots of different tags here, which you can click on and choose. They also have brochure templates, invitations, newsletters, postcards, 
social media as well, and web ads at that. Now over here, we can choose to upload our own images. So if we click upload, we can then choose our file, then use that in our design. They also have the draw features just here and also help, where you can ask any questions in the search bar. Now over here on the right hand side is where they have your layers. So you can click on each layer as well. You can also delete them or also lock them as well. So that's a quick overview of the Creative Fabrica Studio. Now, like I said, these tools aren't quite up there with the best of them as of yet. Their vectorizer isn't that great, but I do really like the ease of use for the design studio. And I'm hoping that as the weeks and the months go by, is going to get even better, which I'm presuming it probably will, and is going to be exciting to see what these other tools are, which will be coming soon. Now remember, you can come and use this completely for free. Some options in here, in these tools, are for pro, which means you do need to have that all access subscription. Now, if you already have a subscription here at Creative Fabrica, an all access subscription, then you're going to be able to come in and try everything with no limitations. But come through, check it out, and see what you think. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch more of my content, then click right here and watch this playlist.